So I made this drum because I'm part of the Damascus drumming group. I decided to use a more innovative technique when building my drum. Um, normally, djembe's are made out of one piece of wood, but I decided to make one of 20 layers. Uh, the most rewarding part of making my drum was seeing the skin come together. It really made the drum turn into a drum. I chose watercolour paint for my medium because after a lot of exploration it was my favourite. My artwork is about appreciation and it reflects my personal feelings and is influenced by them and it's just about my appreciation for my home and opera. My artwork is a animation. I chose that medium because it is something that I've been always kind of interested in and I thought may as well give it a go. It's a story about a little alien character who tries to catch a fish and I thought I may as well make it because it's a good way to learn some new skills and have a go at something new. My work is based on addiction. It got inspired because after COVID a lot of people resorted to developing their addictions further and to tell people that it's okay to get help and to bring awareness to this issue. What I enjoyed most was probably being able to express myself as an individual and just working through my folio at my own pace. I designed a master's college primary school. My artwork means a lot to me because it gave me the opportunity to explore the design process behind being an architect. It also allowed me to create an inclusive school environment in which I ensured that there was gender neutral changing rooms and toilets, which worked alongside my gender neutral uniform. These design choices made ensure that all students, regardless of their identity, felt comfortable and represented. The projection was an idea that I kind of came up with after a few potential directions where I printed the photo on transparent paper and I liked how you could see through the lace and on, I don't know if you can see it too well but <laughs> there's the two photos are flipping between kind of creating a stop motion effect which once again kind of shows the metamorphosis. It kind of comes down and it, it does look like a photography backdrop which I think is nice because uh, one of the photographers I was really inspired by, Demaya, he was one of the first fashion photographers and he used a lot of lace. So this is a graphite and charcoal on paper. It is a depiction of a pulsar, so a type of star in space. Most enjoyable was probably the detailing process. So it is including the sunspots on my artwork and getting those um, depth lines and using tone. Uh, this artwork was based on the idea of the human condition and that we're different personalities. So this personal artwork, it's my own philosophy about the concept of personalities. We're really just fragments of things we've enjoyed. You know, we're part of us likes art or part of us likes math. So we're all just different aspects of personality. Uh, this artwork is about my character that I created going through stages of grief after losing a loved one. I try to portray these images using colours to express emotions. I really enjoy just doing media and creating artwork, doing what I love and taking photos. My artwork is about a character design for a pre-existing game. What I loved most about doing my piece was exploring with different like mediums kind of really and stuff like that. Like that was my first time ever drawing fire and I found it really fun. My piece is about the concept of beauty in nature, so I was inspired by flowers, in particular the lotus flower, so I tried to resemble that as much as possible with the design and the shape of the table and the layer of the petals. Like, just figuring out what worked, that was the most interesting because there was a lot of trial and error initially, just to see how it would look, but when it all came together too, that was really beautiful.